What is up, my dudes? This is Yardbro, and you're tuning in to another episode of my lawn. Coffee. 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 Morning. Okay, today is a little exciting, but I'm a little nervous because I've never done this before, but it is definitely beneficial to real mowing and having an amazing lawn. Oh yeah, we are gonna sand level. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Now, your boy would have had this video done last night, but I spent the entire day doing this process. It is very, very strenuous. My everything hurts. <laughs> There's not one part of my fingertips hurt. My calves, my pinky toe hurts. This, this is not, sand is heavy. It is not soil. Sand is heavy. That's a lot of weight. Damn. That is a lot of weight. I think the Beamer can only do 500 pounds. <laughs> See, here I'm now by myself uh, uh, talking to myself. So yeah, I uh, fell asleep at like 10 o'clock at night <laughs> and uh, woke up and I just uh, pretty much, yeah, it was a lot of work. I'm no longer a spring chicken. Being in your late 30s is somewhat of a hindrance. <laughs> to your performance out there in the outdoors. <laughs> it's the worst. Okay, so this is what we did. The first step I did was I mowed low. Shout out to Nicholas for getting the beast all nice and running. It is amazing. I, th I think you guys saw the YouTube short. That was a little tease. So I'm gonna use it to cut the main lawn short. Now I'm only doing the main lawn. I'm gonna oversee the sidewalk patches, the fence side side strips, and the neighbor patches. That's with just gonna be with soil. I don't wanna deal with sand on everything on the sides. Again, it's not very flat at all, and there's a lot of obstacles in the way. So we're just gonna keep the front main lawn, that's gonna be sanded. The second step is I'm going to dethatch with my Sun Joe dethatcher. Yes, it is corded. I don't mind it. This thing has been with me for the past three seasons. He is amazing. He does. The, he gets the job done. So go ahead and dethatch your lawn. You know, not a lot of uh, thatch coming up, which is great. Meaning we got a healthy lawn. I mean, we did cut it all short, so you know we probably did cut off all that patch <laughs> when we cut it to half an inch. But uh, yeah, it's looking good. Alrighty, I got a new aerator. It is a nice one. Now this is a core aerator, okay? And it is manual, so you will be stepping for a very long time. It is the Ermshi. <laughs> Herm, Hermsh. Hemish. He, Hemish. Heimersh. <laughs> oh, hell no. Herschel? <laughs> I mean, I'm not sponsored by these guys, so unless you're paying me, you know, and, and you tell me what you're, how to pronounce your name, then whatever. So we're going to go ahead and put this together real quick and then test it out. You know, I think it's just my soil that it, it might just be a little too moist. It's starting to get gunky because this, man, I think if you had, I don't care. If it wasn't raining so much, this would be cool. We're going to test this out some more. But for now, I don't want to take the time to do the entire main lawn. It's going to take me forever. And I just didn't have the energy yesterday after lifting, you know, a thousand pounds of material. So, we're going to bust out trusty 
Dusty Krusty. Roll Aerator. The Amic Roll Aerator is my go-to. It is fast. It is speedy. And for my soil, since it's so moist, it is not core aerating. But this, you know, I look at other videos, it core aerates. Just for my application, it's not. So it is just digging holes. It's just making big holes. You know, I do want to get plugs out. I feel like that would make all the difference. Just taking out bits and pieces of the actual lawn. But for now, we're just going to make some holes. I've been doing this for three seasons. The grass still poops on everyone. So we're just going to make some holes. I'm using the roll aerator because it's faster. And because we're, 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 we're running out of time. Alrighty, I'm using the Scott's Leaf Sweeper to pick up any of the cores that were left behind. And just any other excess grass that the blower did not get. And then we do some blow action again. Go ahead and just blow all the debris off of the lawn. It's looking good. All right. Step four, I am going to pour the sand into some buckets. These are 100 pound bags. Yes, they are very heavy. I spilled some sand in the car. I need a yard brush truck. I'm gonna go, I need a truck. But for now, the Beamer did its job. We put a bunch of sand in there, 500 pounds. So I'm gonna put some in the bucket and then we're gonna spread it all out. Yeah, so use the golf leveler tool to spread it all out. I have a golf rake. If you don't have one of these, go get you one. I know there's different types, different sizes. This one has worked perfectly for me. I bought this one on eBay. This is one of the cheaper ones, but you can't complain. I mean, for the past three seasons, this thing's doing work and it's definitely leveling out this sand very nice. You can see when it starts dipping a little bit, add more sand. This is, this is crazy. Sand is fun to work with. I, you know, I, I, I'm, I am new to this. This is very new to me. So we are learning together. You know, I'm not a pro at this stuff. All I know is I'm watching big dogs. I'm watching other people sand level. And then all you see is amazing results. So, Hey, why not try it? We are real mowing. So yeah, use the golf level tool to spread it all out and then take a broom to brush it all in. Okay, we are working with around a little under 500 square feet for this main lawn. We are using 500 pounds of mason sand. It is not enough. So we're gonna go to the store real quick and grab some more sand. Okay, so they don't have the 100 pound bags here. This was a little bit closer to my house and realistically I was subconsciously hoping there was only 50 pound bags <laughs> and this isn't mason sand this is all purpose but it is the same brand the, the quick the quick reet or the quick whatever quick quick reet it's all purpose sand so this one is not going to be finely um 
sorted through. So there might be some chunks and rocks, but it's all good. We'll pick those out ourselves. I'm grabbing 12 50 pound bags, 600 pounds. So now we have a total of 1100 pounds for the 500 square feet. And that is about right because per thousand, you should be using around a ton, right? So yeah, it's about a thousand, a little over a thousand for our application here today. As I'm driving back, I see it says it's gonna rain for an hour. It, no, I'm sorry. It says it's gonna sprinkle for an hour. Oh my gosh, look at this. It is raining ferociously, clumping up all the sand. This, I watched a video on YouTube and the, some guy had a, a downpour storm on his and it just ruined his stuff. But with ours, you know, I think we're gonna be fine. It wasn't that crazy of rain. The, the, the sand isn't clumping up together. It can still be easily spread out. I think we're fine, you know what I mean? But look at this weather. It's raining, and now it's snowing, and now it's hailing. What is this? What is going on? Of course this would happen to us while we're sand leveling. So as it started raining, I, I, I hurried up and just sand leveled as much as I could and then brushed in uh, the mason sand that we had already down. I think that's what uh, helped make it a lot even a lot more even because if we didn't do that i think it would have clumped up and have been really hard to spread out but I, I hurried up and rushed and did it waited for the rain to stop and then i applied again and i could really see how even how even this lawn is getting it's it's crazy how many dips i mean i'm putting a lot of sand in some spots that were just dipped i mean you guys saw it the lawn mowers were bouncing all over the place it's because we used to soil level and the soil moves around a lot. So yeah, it's it, it definitely moves. So it's like every year this soil just moves, it gets bumpy. I'm hoping this sand just, just keeps it all nice and cool and flat. I know we're gonna have to do this every single year. This is, this is a thing you have to do every single year from what I'm seeing, what I'm reading, but it's all good because we, we soil leveled all every single year anyways. It's the same thing. It's just a different process so but yeah definitely laid everything down after the rain and as you can see man this golf leveler tool brushing it in adding more sand it's looking a lot more level amazing i can't wait to get a mower on here wow all right everything's looking good definitely definitely impressed i, I i'm surprised i haven't done this yet but it's it's fun that we're doing it now Step six, I'm going to apply the seed now, okay? I went with the perennial, right? I looked all over, and that's why I went to that low, specific lows. They're the only one in Washington with that, just a bag of perennial rye. I do have some Kentucky bluegrass. I have the, the Baron Brew Turf Brew Pro. I have the Scott Sun and Shade Mix, but I wanted just to add some perennial rye so it's fast germination. I mean, our soil temperature right now is around 48, 49. I know optimal is 50 degrees or higher, but I'm just crossing my fingers that 48 is enough. So perennial rye, let's apply the seed. We're doing one pound per 500 square feet. You know me, I like to lay it down a thick. <laughs> so we're gonna apply two pounds. Now we are going to rake the seed Oh, I'm sorry. Right now, we're going to lay down some starter fertilizer. Always have some starter fert on deck. This is definitely essential for when you are seeding, overseeding, for when you're doing any, you need some starter fertilizer to kickstart the seed so it can germinate properly. Lay it down. After that, we're going to rake everything in. This is very important. Okay, because you need that seed to soil contact. Now I know some parts of the sand are very deep, but hey, this Scott's seed is very resilient. I've actually seen this one seed grow on a piece of paper. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna find its way through the sand, 
and get its roots down into the soil. But if you rake it in, you're gonna help better the chances of it doing that, all right? So go ahead and rake it all in. As you can see, we, we try to brush it, uh, the sand in. And uh, the, you know, the grass was already short as is. So what you're seeing is pretty much you know, a layer of sand on the dirt and a little bit poking through. But as you're raking through, you can see that more grass blades are poking. I love it. So let's get that raking on and let's get that seed to soil contact. All right, and just to have a little cherry on top, we're gonna do the roller tool. How are you gonna sand level and not use the roller tool to flatten it all out and have even more seed to soil contact. Oh, the roller, okay. Once I started going with the roller tool, you can totally tell that it is a lot more even. And then it's compacting the sand more. Oh my gosh. Oh my, God. I can't wait. This is great. Man, this roller tool is the best. Amazing. You don't have one go get it i know it's big and bulky but i use it every single year it's worth the investment it's worth it i love this thing okay i was trying to surprise you guys i did order something but i just couldn't wait anymore because it's gonna rain for the next like 10 days i couldn't wait any longer i also tried to rent it they're booked out for the next two months I didn't get a peat moss. I was hoping to add a little different action to the overseeding process. The peat moss spreader is not gonna be here. It's on back order. It's frustrating me. I know it sucks. We're gonna have to hand apply again the peat moss. Trust me, I wanted to. I wanted to get the peat moss spreader just to make it easier myself. And you know, just to show you guys a different element, a different tool, but I tried my best, okay? And the reason why we're applying peat moss is because every time I don't apply peat moss, the birds have a buffet. We are not providing a golden corral for these birds. This is, no, we are not doing that. They already eat the worms, that's enough but they're not gonna eat this expensive seed and just chomp all over the yard. So I'm going to apply some peat moss. Actually, this is a sun, sunshine potting mix. Same, same stuff, same stuff. Even has a little more nutrients. So it's gonna help uh, grow the seed even better. All right, this is the best stuff. I always keep this stuff on deck. I always have a bag laying around because sometimes Washington just sold out of all this stuff peat moss, sunshine mix, all this, always sold out. So I keep a bag on deck. So we had one on deck. Go ahead and start spreading. Wow, final step. And we get to utilize our new Orbit Beehive. First watering of the Overseed Sand Level Project. Oh, so amazing. Look at that. Oh yeah wireless hello didn't have to go over there didn't have to bend over to push a button to hit manual for 10 minutes no i pushed a button amazing all right guys this this right here okay it's a it's an easy process i love this process it was an all-day venture but at the same time guys sand is not light it is a heavy situation. I don't recommend doing the 100 pound bags. I mean, it is cheaper, but I don't I don't recommend doing bags at all. I think next year, I'm, actually no, next year for sure, I'm getting it delivered. I'm gonna plan it, I'm gonna plan it out. Cause you know me, I'm like spur of the moment guy. I like instant things, I like instant results. I don't like waiting for stuff and planning. Yeah, I like to plan, but not like that. So going to the store, spur of the moment, I woke up, hey, you know what? It's gonna rain for the next 10 days, I'm gonna sand level. That's how I am. It, it worked out. I mean, it did start raining on us for an hour, but it's all good. You know, we're not gonna get down on ourselves. Oh, this is stupid, why did it rain? You make it work, you'll recover. It's just a lawn. <laughs> 
This is all for fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed the process. I can't wait for this stuff to grow. Perennial rye. Ooh, ooh. Hello. Hello. Perennial rye. Shortcuts. Amazing. Amazing. Ooh. Yeah, I literally can't wait, but you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Guys, the channel is a growing. It is growing. A lot of comments. A lot. You guys are amazing with that. A lot of likes. Dang, and the views. Whoa. Thank you so much for the support. You guys, just by watching this stuff, you're helping support, you know, you know, the the the, the couple bucks that I make from this. <laughs> and trust me, when I say a couple bucks, it's a couple bucks i invest more than i make from the youtube so just you guys watching and and you know us talking and conversating that, that that's what matters to me you know what i mean i don't i'm not doing this for youtube money if i was doing this for youtube money again i would have quit a long time ago <laughs> but yeah you guys are the best thanks for watching thanks for tuning in we'll catch you in the next video get easy <laughs>